There is one other basic way to use images as part of the content in your pages. There's something called a featured image, and how it's going to display is going to depend on the theme that you're using. So I'm going to set a featured image for this page, and this is that dogs page I was working on. I'm going to choose Kitty, and I'm going to update. I'm going to hit view page. And that brings it front and center at the top of my page. Now if I were to change my theme, and we'll just say we're going to 2014, and do a live preview. That's because it doesn't have a this messes with my menus. Let's go to dogs. You can see that that puts it actually behind the title. Well, I don't want to switch to this permanently, but you will see that the theme will change your layout. So I'm going to cancel this, but be aware that how you have your theme set up, here you go, featured images really shine in this theme. 2014 really is set to take advantage of that. The raindrop one that I'm using is not. Go ahead and cancel this. Go back to and I don't have that added. So I can go back to my pages. And we can view the page here and you'll see what that while it does use the featured image, it doesn't do the same thing where it embeds it. So you can try that with your content and see if you like it or if you'd like to change to a theme that will take advantage of it. So that's the third basic way for adding images into your content. We'll also do some stuff with adding masthead and footer images, which again, will its success will depend on your theme.